Welcome back to Sea Fishing Only. Now, everyone's going through a lockdown phase at the minute, not going fishing. Lack of fishing videos online and that, but and this, uh, well, I've noticed anyway on on my channel, I haven't posted many fishing rigs, how to like make them and that. So I thought I'll show you guys how I make my Panova rigs. So hopefully after lockdown, this rig can help you catch that fish. Easy to make, easy to do. Let's crack on with it. Right, okay, so once you've got all your components together, just gonna grab uh, the line for your rig body. For my rig body, I'm just using 50 pound amnesia, about four foot long. Can go shorter, can go longer if you want, it's up to you. With an up and over rig, it goes up and over, obviously. I'll show you when I clip it down. But your your hook trace, so from your swivel to your hook, that can be the length of the body and half. So if this is four foot, then my hook snood, when it's on the bottom all laid out, it'll be eight and a half foot, which is a good thing about it. Nice and long, the trace will be. Grab your rig clip. You can get smaller ones like that, but I'm just using this one. Put it through, I'm just gonna do a blood knot. I'll show you how this is done. Nice and quick for the video. Probably go around it four or five times, maybe six. The heavier the line, the less times you have to go through it. Pull that tight, lubricate it. I'm just gonna grab the pliers here just to tighten it down because there's nothing to grab onto. There we go. Watch that knot slide down. I have a saying, if my knot's not tight enough, and when I mean not tight enough, I pull it nice and tight. If it doesn't leave indents on your fingers like that, it's not tight enough. Just cut that tag end off. Okay, so it should look somewhat like that. That's just a start. And then, I'm gonna grab a bead. I'm just using a squishy bead. Don't have to be massive beads. There we go, it's just a tiny little squishy bead. That goes on. And then an imp. You can just use a normal weight clip. If I can show you one. I haven't got one anywhere, but you know what you clip your weight onto. You can just use that if you want. So I'm just gonna put my swivel on here so it can move a bit more freely. Like that, swivel's on. That goes on through the swivel. Line goes straight through it. And then another bead. It should look some, a bit like that. So you've got your rig clip, your bead, swivel clip to your imp or weight. You can just use a weight if you want, it's up to you. And another bead. Right, so next step, I'm just gonna make the snood. Got your swivel there, just tie it on like that. This is about six and a half foot, seven foot maybe. And then I'm just going straight down to my hooks. Here I've got a Cox and Rule Specimen X 2O and a 1O Cox and Rule Specimen X 1O there. And I've, all I've done I've, is I've just used a bit of this rubber tubing. I, I don't think it's what you use it for, but it works like a dream for me. I can't find it nowhere, but I'll show you. Bit of rubber tubing like that, I just put that on and it holds a line on it more firmly and when you wrap it round like that, that's secure. That ain't going nowhere, look. I'm pulling on that. So what I find when you cast out sometimes you you know your panel just flicks around all over the place. So there's a little tip for you guys there. Hopefully that'll work. And all you do, once you've done your snood, you're just gonna tie it onto your your rig body we made earlier you remember the other end you've got nothing there just tie your other end of your swivel onto that blood knot here again there is other knots out there but i'm just gonna do this one quickly okay nice and tight cut tag end there you go, that is one complete up and over rig. I'll show you how that clips down. Fish with that and you'll be laughing. Pinned it here so I can show you what I'm doing. Right where my thumb is, where that pin is. 
the shock leader or your main line is going to come straight down and tie straight onto there. You can put a swivel on and tie it onto there, that'll be more ideal. So, I'm just going to show you how to clip this down. Come down here, please don't get confused about all the leads. But here's the lead here that I'm using. If it will let me get it out, just pop that on there. So, you grab your hook snood, that's where your swivel is, remember? Grab your hook snood, pull that up. It's coming up, hence where it's got its name from. And it will go over, it will go over that like pointy bit here. You see it's gone over? And then you'll just pull it down. Like so, you see that lead coming up? If it doesn't get caught on anything. And you're just gonna clip that onto your imp. Right there. And look at that. How easy was that? That's all clipped down, ready for casting. That's what it looks like there. And obviously when it hits the water, this bad boy is going to ping up like that. See that falling down now? Which is also going to release that off there. It's just caught in here at the minute. <laughs> Releases that, you hear the lead hit the bottom, comes off there, flows down nicely. And look at how long that trace is. That trace is coming all the way from there to like the end of like the room pretty much. But yeah, that's the up and over rig, guys. Absolutely brilliant. Right, and that's how you do it. Absolutely easy. Don't need any special parts on that. That's how I make it. I know other people make it differently, but that's how I do it, so. And it works for me. I've caught fish on it in the past. I haven't caught a ray on it yet, but hopefully I'll get one. But yeah, if there's any NHS workers out there or any essential workers, thank you very much doing very well for the country and yeah that's all i've got to say guys just please stay safe and um yeah more fishing videos will come out when we get back out fishing have a good one.